Ladies and gents, welcome to the weirdest TC drop game ever, uh, otherwise known as the Persian douche. Ayupe, who's here in the yellow, randomed Persians when he was playing against Spring last month, as Spring was playing as the Saracens. Now, Persian douche strategy is simple. You delete your starting TC, and you rebuild your TC next to your opponent. Why do you do that? Because the Persian town centers have double the amount of HP. They have 4,800 HP, as Spring's TC would only have 2,400. Now, since they're playing random sieves, the chances of Yupe getting Persians is pretty slim, but it happens. And Spring, immediately in the chat, said, Don't even think about it. I love Spring so much. Uh, I was really debating on how to title this because I can't give all the credit to Yupei and I can't give all the credit to Spring either. So I ended up with the weirdest TC drop game ever. In fact, Yupei spoke to me about this game and he said it is easily the weirdest TC drop that he's ever had. Now, if you're thinking, well, T90, that's pretty rare occurrence. Uh, how can someone even say that? No, Yupei, he TC drops people all the time. Maybe some YouTuber that you watch, who also happens to cast games every once in a while, was TC dropped by Yupe recently. And maybe that will be on YouTube in a few days. But anyways, to the task at hand. Yupe, he's playing as the Persians, we've established that. And uh, then we have Spring playing as the Saracens. Now if you hear some noises, actually I'm going to tap into the game and back out of the game. Uh, the recorded game file I had had someone's Twitch chat linked into the game. And so every time there's a, a message, you hear a little bloop. But I think it's louder for me than it is for you. So at least you know. But yeah, the whole idea behind the strategy is is to drop the town center uh, and shoot your opponent's TC and make the game scrappy. Uh, Yupe does it all the time. I'm sure you saw the Legend of Rubenstock video on YouTube before. Uh, well, Yupe is on that team. He's not as good as Ruben Sock. He's not as good as the other Finland players, but they're all good friends. And apparently they have a build order for these types of things. So one thing I've noticed right now is if Yupe drops the town center here, it will be in a great location because it pushes Spring off of his berries. Um, that That's a pretty big deal. Uh, it's one thing to just shoot the town center. That's strong enough. But to deny a resource with it is also really good. Another thing is that Spring's boar is out here, and I don't think he's scouted that yet. So if he doesn't click up to Feudal Age quickly, he might find himself in Dark Age alongside Yupe. Uh, well, literally alongside Yupe, because Yupe would have his town center right in front of him. It's also worth noting that this was the second or third game that Yupe had played for Spring, and I think Yupe had gone for some other wacky strats, and Spring was on a bit of a tilt. But Spring is one of my favorite players in the game. Let's face it, I have like dozens of favorite players. But anyway, Spring is a, a national treasure because he's very chatty. And I I can't tell you how many times I've just busted out laughing because of Spring's chat in games. So Yupe has this town center at home. He's researching Loom in it. Hmm, that's weird. Where are all of his villagers? Oh yeah, his villagers are here. They're running forward. So he's sending villagers forward. After he completes the Loom upgrade, boom. He deletes the town center, <laughs> and here he is. Now, if you have kids at home, please mute the video for the next 30 seconds, because there will be some language. Spring sees the TC, he garrisons immediately. He realizes what's about to go down. <laughs> and Spring says, you sick fucking bastard. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Well... Spring realizes how complicated his life is about to be, and his boar was late. His food count isn't where it needs to be to click up to feudal. So normally, when you're getting TC dropped like this, you're already on your way to feudal age. But Spring hasn't clicked up yet. And also, Yupe went forward rather early. The timing is, is borderline perfect. So look at all these arrows going into Spring's town center. And somehow, because it's Age of Empires 2, that creates fire. And this town center will slowly burn to the ground for spring. You have two decisions to make if you're spring. One, click up to Feudal Age. And then after you click up, repair this town center and, and then later relocate it. Or, you just abandon this area and make a new home for yourself. And you have to build your own TC maybe here. Um, so far, it looks to me like spring has the resources to click up if you would want to. But there's no possible way that this town center is going to stay alive 
Uh, so he should probably research loom, which I guess he's doing now, and then delete the TC and, and place one here. Or, I mean, it kind of makes sense that you'd want it next to the lumber, but... But again, he can't comfortably collect all of his berries, uh, and he's probably not very happy with this current situation. So now Yupe, he sees that Spring has deleted the TC, and he's, got, he's going out here for more. Now, Spring happens to have a lot of weak villagers, but Yupe could either vill fight or he could delete this TC, and if he has 275 wood and 100 stone, he could build another one. And he ventures in to what is Gate Central, as Spring, I think, just wanted building foundations up so Yupe couldn't TC drop him again. Uh, Yupe might have thought he could kill some weak villagers, but he decides to run back, which is the right decision because Spring now has his new town center up. And Spring now has the resources to click up to Feudal Age, and Yupe does not. Now, I've seen plenty of TC drops, and on the 1st of October, I have a brand new series starting, and uh, that video will be all about TC drops. But I, I continue to think it shouldn't work, because now Yupe, he doesn't have the resources to, go, to do anything, really. He can't drop a TC on Spring again, and he hasn't been collecting res, so he can't go Feudal. Spring is on the way to Feudal. He has gold. He has deer. So Spring is definitely in what I would call the winning position. Oh, but he is going to lose his weak villager. Oh, or not. Okay, micro nerd. Is this Spring or is this Viper? Look at that. That villager will be stuck there anyways, but well played. But yes, well, while Spring has the lead and he could probably start making archers, he could probably make a few towers. He could do a lot of things when he's in Feudal. The reason this game isn't all about Yupe and the reason Spring deserves a lot of credit is because Spring doesn't like to be memed on, okay? There's a, uh, this is probably a very popular saying, and it's, it's better to, what is it? Oh, it's better to die on your feet than to live on your knees, I think. And, and so Spring, <laughs> he's adopting that thought process here. And so he's going to go pretty crazy and he's going to make this game the weirdest TC drop game you've ever seen. Trust me on that, okay? Trust me on that. Five villagers to the left, make it six. Four villagers to the right. Yupe's still in Dark Age. He actually is stealing Spring's berries. Spring wants to wall him in. Did you ever see that episode of The Most Annoying Strategy Ever? Where Spring got walled in? That video has almost a million views. I almost feel bad because Spring is in all of these things, but... Well, Spring would like to do that to Yupe now. Because he's got Yupe right where he wants him. So, two stone gates and a tower here. Three stone gates. And he'll kill Yupe's scout. Yupe needs to be careful about this. He, he could lose villagers to this tower, so he sent his villagers out. I told you it'd be messy. <laughs> He's sending his villagers out to batter down this tower. Now, I think he should be able to batter down the tower, but if he can expand all that easily outside of his base, I'm not so sure. That's enough villagers attacking the tower where I think he'll be okay. Spring will focus down her. Nice job, that gives him a two villager lead, and he's completing the gate walls. Uh, but the tower did not, it was not protected enough. You really need to wall in the base of the tower, otherwise that will happen. But Spring does have his scout, he is going to tower this side now. Uh, messy, 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 this is ridiculous. Now, I say that Yupe is walled in. Yupe does have some villagers at home. He's sending them to stone right now. And he has two lumberjacks, so he'll probably compete with his own towers. And he has more villagers out here, and he did kill one of Springs. But Spring is going to build another tower here. He's going to build another tower here. And Yupe, well, he's not completely trapped because these villagers ended up running out here. But this is going to be awkward for him. Where can he take resources inside Spring's base? You have a random sheep. Oh my god, the sheep got shot. What did the sheep ever do? Well, the sheep was outside. The spring is trying again to gate in these villagers. He might be successful with it. Yo, if spring... Oh my god. Oh my god. Yupe's building a tower here, by the way. But if spring keeps these, these walls up and towers here... Yupe will lose all of these villagers. That would be outstanding. 
Now, Villager, 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 please do not open the gate. Oh, Spring, don't let him out. Don't let him out. Oh, he didn't let him out. This is a play and a half from Spring. Snipe to Villager here with that tower. Could lose some of his own here with this tower from Yupe. Yupe, Yup, something. I, I don't know. I, I'm not even sure how to say it, so my apologies, YouTube. But, oh my god. If Spring doesn't let these Villagers out, this will be perfect. And he said giggity. Giggity, giggity. Now it's Spring's turn to rush down a tower, and Yupe actually walls his in. <laughs> All of Yupe's villagers will die here. What a play from Spring, man. What a play from Spring. Now, if he kills these villagers, and he kills this villager, and the villager in here, and then I guess a few more over here. Anyways, he's getting closer to having Yupe completely walled in. But occasionally when you finish a gate, it will open up and the enemy will walk out of it, so you... That's, that's what I was scared of here. Seems like Spring should have this game now. He has wood, he has stone, he has gold. He has more villagers. Seems like he should have this game now. So what does Yoop even do? Uh, by the way, I watched the first... What are we at, 20? Uh, I watched the first, like, 17 minutes of this in Fast Forward, so... Well, I do watch some things ahead of time. I, I, this is actually going to be news to me what he does. He has food. I see that uh, Yupe has food. Oh my god, Spring. Oh my god, Spring. <laughs> He's putting all of his focus on outmicering the tower and getting gates and stone walls up around this, this tower here. Uh, pretty ambitious. Man... If, if Yupe loses this tower, I think he loses the game because these villagers can't chop wood then, so... What does he even do? What do you do from here? This town center location is less than ideal now. What's the decision? Spring is farming on the outside of <laughs> Yupe's base. Yupe's building another tower. You know what? I think the decision would... Another TC drop? No, delete the farm and delete this TC and place one here? Hmm. I mean, Spring kind of has them surrounded, right? Spring is still working on walls. He's towering here now. Uh, Yupe deletes his farms and fully garrisons. Now I don't think he can comfortably place a town center, so maybe he tries to batter his way out? He has nowhere to go. That would have been hilarious, though, if he would have town centered there. But okay, you know, he's done a nice job saving his villagers. He's done a nice job towering here. Um, I mean, Spring should Spring should not allow this to happen. Spring should tower... He should gate again? Or tower this or something? Oh, and Yupe recognizes that he's about to be towered again. Or, or gated in, so he's placing his own tower? 30 population versus 31. This game is, is somehow close. Well, Spring has way more food eco with the amount of farms he has going for him. But I don't think that he has the towers in the correct spots anymore. This gate will go down. And Spring sends villagers over. He's probably hoping he was Berbers so he could quickly run over. <laughs> but Yupe's free! He is free! He, now he could barely send new villagers to wood, but he's free. And now he's placing another tower. Meanwhile, Spring is like, gate, 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 gate. But he's out of stone because of all the stone gates. So he can't tower these villagers. And that tells me that Yupe might actually break free. But Spring has got to think he has the lead right now. And he should think that, I think. He, even though he doesn't... Even though these villagers are about to break free, they're not collecting resources. This is not a game that uh, Yupe should win. So I guess it's just full on tower rush now. From Yupe as well, except he has to wait for stone to come in from these villagers. Maybe it's a vill fight? These are some healthy villagers. It might be a full on vill fight. I'll actually change the HP bars. So springs are blue, and Yupe's are yellow. And you'll notice there's quite a few more villagers. There's two more villagers in here for Yupe, and he has more HP as well. So I, I don't like this tower from spring, and he only has one villager building it now anyway. And more villagers are on the way for you, but he's evacuating. Oh my god. 
as Spring will build his own tower. Spring is sending his own villagers. It could all end here. The game could all end here. They can each fit five villagers inside the tower. And then they should probably fight at the base of the enemy tower. How do I even cast this? All I know is that Yufei has more vills. Which should be an advantage for him. He destroys that tower. He's destroying villagers. Yupe gains the villager lead. The spring is sending a few scouts out, but it's just one scout versus, versus 18 villagers. Now keep in mind, spring is still kind of trapped in here on the right because of these towers. Spring is getting massacred. 28 villagers for spring. 35 for Yupe. Yupe's villagers aren't even collecting resources. He's just... Well, there's a few collecting resources, of course, but he's sending in more and more reinforcements. He's using his tower fire here. Oh my god, and, and this is rounds two with the whole tower shenanigans. Yupe will place his own. And this would completely deny the stone that Spring needs to build future towers as well. Now, what will the result be this time? As Spring at least has scouts, but no, the scouts just die. The scouts are dying instantly. These villagers, this group of villagers, they have 11 kills. That's crazy. That is a that is one of the craziest KDs you'll see for villagers at this stage of the game. And I think we'll see this a repeat of what we just saw a moment ago. Spring's tower will die. Yupei's tower is being repaired. And it's shooting stuff. This is all they're looking at, I'm sure. But it's all they should look at because this is this is the win or the loss. And surely for Yupei, this means it's the win. Surely for Yupei, it means it's the win. Spring is trying the same thing over and over again. It's not working. His villagers are dying. His scouts are dying. It's 34 kills for Yupei. 22 deaths. The tower is doing work. Has been doing work for quite some time. Uh, he's now going to batter down this tower so he can expand a little bit more. And I guess we'll change the HP bars back. Ah, whatever. We'll stick with yellow and blue. Yeah, see the repairs? This is what Spring lacked because he didn't have the bills. The repair. And Spring resigns. Spring taps out of the game. Look at this. Look at this. Should we count the gates? I think if I double click them. There's 18 stone gates. Now, not all of them are fully built, but 18 stone gates. There's six palisade gates. And then the only TCs the players have are right next door from each other. Ridiculous. There are uh, maybe half a dozen towers? <laughs> but the whole game went down here. Uh, forget about these villagers. I know these were important, but the whole game went down on this part of the screen. Now, Spring was not very happy about this and went out to get some revenge afterwards. But guys, can we appreciate the fact that Spring didn't go for archers early? Can we appreciate the fact that he tried to do these... This he tried to flex a little bit on Yupei because it made the game so much more interesting. Sure, there was only one TC dropped, but this is easily the weirdest TC drop game that I have seen. It turned into TC drops, vill fighting, and towers. Wild. Uh, now, Yupei sent this to me, and he sent this to me because I announced that I have a new series coming up on the 1st of October, and the first episode of that series is going to be all about TC drops. So this was initially going to be in that episode, but it was so good and it stood out so much, I felt like it needed its own video. So if you're looking forward to more of this, make sure to stop by the YouTube channel or, or uh, get the alerts for October 1st, uh, because Yupe will be featured, and maybe, just maybe, I will be featured playing Yupe. Oof, you know what, we're not going to talk about that, but yeah, there'll be a lot of different games, team games, 1v1s, I sent out a challenge for everyone to try this at home. And I got tons and tons of recorded games to look at. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Let's look at the achievements, actually. Um, here you are. Yeah, 38 units killed by Yupe. It came down to the last villager fight. It hurt Spring that he had so many villagers on the left and the right sides. Um, he needed to have all of his villagers there. He also had a lot of weak ones. Um... But yeah, there's the resources collected. The food collected is pretty similar. Wood collected was way more for spring and gold collected way more for spring. That normally equals archers for me, but instead he went for the gates. And there's the timeline for you. Look at that! Look at that! 
Um, where's the stat? Largest army, one. Yupe, one. With one largest army. That was his starting scout, by the way. <laughs> it was all about economy, man. It was all about economy. Uh, what a game. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are looking forward to future episodes. Uh, or sorry, not future episodes, future casts. And the first episode is uh, f- blah, 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 blah. First episode of my new series on October 1st. I love you all. See you next time. I'll edit that out.